All right, we're back. Great. I got online, saw you weren't online, and I was like, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait to play Dark Souls 2 with him then. <laughs> Sorry about that, Archie. <laughs> but, welcome in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. We could probably play after stream though. Whew. Cool. Alright. But yeah, we can play after stream. <laughs> it's not fucking Sunday. <laughs> that game's lying to me, it's not Sunday. Wait a second. Fucking fly in my face. Well, as you can tell, it's already Sunday, so let's get to reading because this is mostly reading game. <clears throat> What kind of voice did I use? God, I haven't done this in so long, I forgot the fucking voice. Was it? It's... It's already Sunday! No... No, I don't think it was that, was it that? It's already Sunday! No... Can I get the gurgling correctly? Come on. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> no, 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 we're talking to Yuri because Yuri's with us. It's already Sunday, it's already Sunday, it's already Sunday, yes, it's already Sunday, okay. Just a sec, gonna check on something. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person. In is clearly an, int an introvert and all and an intro intimate person in general. Does that work? Does that fit together? Do those fit together as personality types? I mean, I guess in a way, sort of. <laughs> Introverts like to keep to themselves, so I wouldn't say they're very intimate. <laughs> L reading- Fuck you, dude! <laughs> Yuri is clearly an introvert. And also, and also an intimate person. 
Sin in general, okay. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. <laughs> there. There's no, n there's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting aside, pu putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard anything from Sayori since she left the club early, early the other day. Uh, my English is Englishing very incorrectly. <laughs> Your old pedo is here, okay. Uh, I'll remove that message. Well, yes, wel wel welcome in, Joe. How you doing? How's everyone doing? Listen, I know what intimate means, you dumb shit. Well, my day's good. Hoping everything's gonna be okay for the day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what's what Sayori said and what Monica said, it is is it really okay to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering in myself. Again, we used to play often and we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange for her not... To run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom. Where I f finally find her. Sayori! Hi, big booty bow. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. She is doing okay. She, she's perfectly fine. She's perfectly fine. See, she's still alive. Everything's good. Everything, Everything's great. Everything is amazing. It has been a long time. Not... Much has really changed, has it? Sayori, Sayori's room is as messy as it has always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you! How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait... How did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that la- <laughs> We had decided that last meeting. Holy shit, we've got a problem here! glass all you ever all you ever do is get timed out buddy and you totally deserve it 90% of the time 
Maybe someday he'll say something semi-intellectual. <laughs> and we'll be super surprised. Say, already has had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep in, keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point! I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So? Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Big Booty Bell. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulder. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Up until now. Until I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Big Booty Bow. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What you're... What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to... You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Big Booty Bow? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring, caring to waste? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by giving them, by having them spend time, spend it on me? That's what it feels like, and that's why I just want to make everyone happy, without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me? The entire time I've known her. Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? But why, Sayori? Yeah? Why is it that... Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything 
I could to support you. If there's only so much that I could do, even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Big Booty Bow. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you wouldn't have to... Then you would have to waste effort caring for me instead of doing important things. I don't want... I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I w wanted so badly for you t to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and be closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. I don't understand that. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Big Booty Bow. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing you could could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was... I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and made, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulder. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, big booty bow. Sayori. I don't care if I'm if if <laughs> I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day is worthwhile is worthwhile enough. If you make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. If I make friends, if I make friends, my English is Englishing incorrectly. Bro sounds like Yoda. <laughs> Bro can't re fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Please, never underestimate the... <laughs> never underestimate how much I cared for you, Padawan. <laughs> never underestimate how much I care for you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Big duty bow. Sayori is hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me! Please, don't do this to me! Big Foodie Bow! <laughs> Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want for her is to know that I care. If you have it 
if you have it in your in you to call yourself selfish then you have to let me be selfish too no matter what it takes I'll figure out what needs to change I'll make these feelings go away and if there's anything that you need me to do then you better tell me I'll get mad if you don't <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know <laughs> gently Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know I don't know It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. No. The only time I'm not feeling I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets go of me. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah? Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. I would. Of all the days... This has to have been one where I have, <laughs> this has to be the one where I have other plans. <laughs> okay, my cold is finally over. <laughs> ah, Big Booty Bo's cold is finally over. I'm not, I'm not doing that voice anymore. That voice is painful. <laughs> of all days this has to be the one where this has to be the one where I have other plans maybe I should cancel no don't please don't if you did that then then I really wouldn't forgive you but it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at it's it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Yuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if if that would be a very good idea for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Uh. Kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. Sweet. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, and, uh, let me just say that my kindergarten reading out loud skills are shit, so go fuck yourself. 
Yeah, just deal with it. You didn't you didn't order like the perfect voice actor who knows fucking everything. You're in a discount let me solo her stream. Fucking discount. Discounts in the name. Deal with it. <laughs> You're not paying me, you bastard. <laughs> On the way home, I find myself feeling strangely uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel... A moment of panic! Y Yuri? Ah! Uh, thank goodness. You're, you're a little early. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. W were you waiting for long? No, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Y you always could have texted me. If I, if I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried, hurried more on the way home. <laughs> ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think about that for some reason. It, it should be more common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, uh, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you man and did you manage to find any everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. <sighs> Yuri's cute. Uh, agreed. What is it, Glass? He should be perfect. Not doing his best. <laughs> oh, she got them. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's it's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, oh, no. It, I would have been really embarrassed for my room to have been a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped clean. Ah. Ah. That would have been even more embarrassing! Ha 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 ha! Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist... <laughs> I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening my desk, the desk drawer of mine. Ah! I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was spacing out. It's fine! It's fine! I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly on her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... Should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. The mood... Mood... Mood lighting. Aromatherapy candles. Okay, that, that, that's the word that I was think needed to pronounce. Uh... Radical viewer.
there's a very specific word that you use that did not need to be used in the way that it was used, but you know what? Considering it's used in a safe for work way, even though it's not grammatically correct, I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. You're not gonna kill the guests, are you? That'd be unhealthy. <laughs> Open the sock drawer. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what she almost opened. <laughs> Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That That's great! It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh... Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, 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 not at all, no. It's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah. No need to get so anxious. Be so anxious. Get, be, same thing, honestly, Sa same exact word. Oh, good, good heavens, is that you? <laughs> Most. Mm hmm. Most. <laughs> you can relax a little. R relax? I, I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think it would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, it would be it would be really neat. What's that wooden thing though? The, oh, this thing? It's it's a diffuser for essential oil, oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oil or herb you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel the per feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, Romance, reflection, it's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through the small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells... A little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. I chose... I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer, your heart pounds more heavily. Welcome in, No-No. 
Tee hee hee. Tee hee. Okay, I'm about to do something. Glass has been timed out. <laughs> Joe? <laughs> you say some pretty weird shit. <laughs> Don't you think that it will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But... You seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with everything, with anything. With anything? I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it right over here. You won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful or also it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room it may attract some to peek inside that's really creative I had no idea you'd be so good at this Yuri is that so well I suppose I do get a little intense as you put it <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's your here's here's a marker, Big Booty Bow. You can write any character you want, any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of ribbon to, to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Yeah? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver, ha the silver handle it has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. Fuck, of course she does. You gonna banjo? Is that even possible? I mean, I could banjo, honestly. Not right now. Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think this... think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge... reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out... Yeah, 
I promise. Alright. The thing is... I'm kind of into knives. Well, that's a word, kink. You're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Mm, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me? No. I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm. I just think it's funny how nervous you are. Sh are you got about sharing? It's. Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really cool. It's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It, it is, isn't it? Yuri l relaxes her expression once again. <laughs> God damn. Glass got stacked with, <laughs> with timeouts. <laughs> I didn't give her a pen. I don't believe. I do not believe I gave Yuri a pen. Because this is not the this is not the Yuri run. At least not right now, it's not. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife. With the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! B big booty bow? Did... Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all! It's... It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely... <laughs> this knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no... A small blo a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and get, gives the wound a closer look. Uh, she stares at it n and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Hi, <laughs> Scorpion, what a weird fucking thing! <laughs> Super jealous. <laughs> What are we talking about? Totally normal, interesting things happening here. Second half do Yuri run? Okay. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Oh, way, hey, yo. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. Hey. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. 
That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure it was a little weird and took me by surprise, but I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh... She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I just fucking ruined one of my relationships. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, big booty bow. You're a giggle shyly. Eh? You're a calling me weird. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. I don't think I need one, actually. It was just a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I, I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue making progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's really... Just... It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have... Ugh. Fuck. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. Ooh, is this one's name going to be Bruce? a Bruce Banner. Here we go. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water? I'll be right back in a minute. 
Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water, okay? If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate and catch any paint that drips. Then, bring them back to m into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your, your face is all red. Is it hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like the paint gradient across the banner. I'd like to paint the gra a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for the sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it up on the wall behind the podium of the front of the classroom. Ah, neat! What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment and thinks to herself. For me... I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with the one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk too much. Just having friends next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think it's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I were quite, are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things when, things like anime and games where, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Okay. God damn. God damn! <laughs> which, which girl is best? Uh, Yuri. Yuri and Monica. Best girls. <laughs> oh no! Yuri. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I hate to cut your moment, but doesn't Yuri like knife and skin contact <laughs> and skin contact? Maybe. I'm gonna use that knife. Uh, no, actually, I am not a Jew. Fun fact. <laughs> yeah, you already said that, Joe. <laughs> I, I I scrolled back up. I scrolled back up. I I didn't realize how many fucking messages. Hanzo Hasashi, Hanzo Hasashi, doing this. Trip. 
<laughs> Family. <laughs> you remind me because of see too. Brown camera man. Okay. No, you can't time out. So there's one moderator that can actually time out. There's a few moderators that can time out other moderators. Hunter Hon, I believe, is um is a managing mod. Um, then there's Cheshire Brandon, and then there's Arch Madness, and then there's Rosemary Paladin, and those are the managing moderators. Those ones can time out other mods. I'm the only one who can time out a managing mod. But yeah, Joe, do not use that knife on your dick. <laughs> Bad idea. Unless, of course, you like eating really small hot dogs. No, no, you should not. Not right now, at least. I do not know yet. God fucking no, we're not reading the Monster Girl Encyclopedia right now. No MGE for you guys. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hand in hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm not hurt. Just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's it's not your fault. Ah, your face. <laughs> there are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room, kneel back down in front of her. Here. I've already read it before. <laughs> I've already read both volumes. Archie told you to mention it? No! Not reading it. Bro. You're as tall as Sayori. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start retracting my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze and enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently half, half through... Okay, she breathes gently half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is this the aroma of jasmine oil giving me the dizzy feel this dizzy feeling? Yuri's Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, sending a tingle sensation through my arm. 
And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's o it's okay. The moment the moment is over as soon as it began began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movement seems clumsier, as, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieved my own brush and continued following Yuri's example. You want Yuri to be in managing mode? <laughs> she can manage you. <laughs> Damn. I'm not reading it. I'm Kaiju. I am Kaiju. Discount is Kaiju. Bye, Scorpion. Have a good one. Until we meet again. <laughs> you just put that thumbs up for a reason, didn't you? Yep, called it. <laughs> that should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? It's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at... Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was really concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping that we would have a have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. It's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, you shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all our things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's, it sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that this is the last time it can happen. 
Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else that you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I can't say that without thinking. About today? It's fine that we didn't have much time, as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over and we can go out somewhere. I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumbled over my words, Jerry simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, big booty bow. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Eh? <laughs> no. I'm not playing something that'll get me demonetized. Nekopara. <laughs> nope, not playing, not playing that game. Uh, hi, Big Booty Bow. Sayori? Just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Big Booty Bow. I just bop, stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close she got to her. It makes me really happy. You've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears st start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Big Rudy Bow? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much! <laughs> Everything hurts so much! This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that! But it's true, Big Big Bow. If I weren't here, then... You wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. 
I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you? Like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would wouldn't trade anything for. So you can so even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Big Booty Bow. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might... I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and I started to like you too much. I... I did this to myself. Bebo. I like you so much I want to die. That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough, Sayori. I don't... I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Okay. Stream ETA, um, until... I don't know exactly. Uh... Lollipop chain, so nice. What will I do? Sayori. I stare you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. You should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone in, at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day... It helped me realize that you were truly the most important person to me. That's why I accept your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Big booty bow. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Big booty bow. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. <laughs> I love you, Big Booty Bow. <laughs> I want to be with you forever. Me too. <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Big Booty. They're not going away at all, Big Booty Bow. It, it's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. 
but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay? I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. S so... I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, big booty bow. Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad. This is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told it felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain of when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. I'm not Jewish. Reminder. <laughs> Just letting everyone know. Because for some reason TJ thinks it's funny to call me a Jew. Yes, I would like a brownie. Brownies are awesome. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but I decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be starting should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry and I gently roll it up and take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way about Natsuki as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. <laughs> Big booty bow. You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Jury would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets at each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted, <laughs> and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. 
Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that one that one day's that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing that it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Big Booty Bow. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the f full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill go down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah. Sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this is definitely going to help take the people take help people take the club more seriously. God damn, my English is up rising. Kaiju, what's wrong? Still can't read. Uh shit, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know well reading as usual? Fuck you! Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems are from the ones they performed during our practice. What is this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Big booty bow? What's wrong? Ah! Nothing! The poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, I changed my mind! I'm going to get Sayori, so. Ah. Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the crack classroom. <laughs> Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quick, I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a bit harder for Sayori. 
It's not a big deal at, at, to, to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simplest gesture of waking her, of waking her to school makes her ha really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. And what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect to answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori. She's a really heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. It's usually something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? It's really something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case... Just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on the door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter the room like this. It's kind of a breach of privacy. But she leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Sayori. What the hell? What the hell? This is a nightmare. Has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this could be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I, I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday. I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her, I know it's best, that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? Could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. It's not what Sayori needed, after all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? It's my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent time with her, walked her to school, remained friends with her like always been, then I could have prevented this. How could I have prevented this? I know. S screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She, she's gone forever now. Nothing can bring her back. This, this isn't some game where I can just reset and try something different. I, I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Never.